from CBS News, bring you the early show. Starting up a brand new day. Live from... Up next, our Consumer Watch opens the door on hidden dangers lurking in your garage. You're watching the early show on CBS. Is your garage in need of a major overhaul? It might be a good time to get organized because this is Garage Safety Week. Didn't know you had that, did you? Far too many garages are not only cluttered, they are filled with hidden hazards, too. Early show consumer correspondent Susan Copen has details. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. According to a survey by the Home Safety Council, 60% of Americans say their garages are unorganized. And most of us, not concerned about safety in that part of the house, but experts say we should be. You should treat the garage like a room in your home, not just a place to dump your junk. Anthony and Charlene Moschetto do a Anthony, great job of keeping their house clean, even oh, with a new baby. Their garage is a different story. We've been trying to keep the house organized, but somehow the garage uh, didn't fall in with the rest of the house. Take a look. Their garage doesn't look unorganized or dangerous, but experts say it's filled with hidden hazards. As a home safety professional, I go into almost anybody's garage and see plenty to worry about. So what are the problems in the Moschetto's garage? We got the scoop from Barbara Butensky, who works for Garage Tech, a company that specializes in garage safety. First thing I see are baby toys along with window washer. And Butensky says mixing playthings with poisonous products is a dangerous combination. This hedge clipper on the floor is a tripping hazard. We found more sharp tools left on top of this cabinet. They could easily fall off and someone could be injured. This extension cord is a strangulation hazard. This stereo could tip over and hurt someone. Is she pointing out things to you that you didn't know, that you didn't realize? Oh, absolutely. Yes, definitely. It was time for this garage to get a safety makeover. From bottom to top, Garage Tech worked its magic. Two days later, we came back to see the transformation. Wow, what do you guys think? It looks amazing. I can't believe they could do all this in two days. This makeover was extravagant, but you don't need to hire a company to make your garage safer. Just follow some basic tips. First, get clutter off the floor. Dangerous items should be stored high and out of children's reach. So this is now the tool center. Yes. Quite a difference. Uh, absolutely. Much safer. All the sharp items are high up on the wall now, securely attached to the wall. Pesticides and cleaners should be stored in a locked cabinet. Hang ladders on their side so kids can't climb them. And on top of the floor, put down slip-resistant tiles to prevent falls. So one of the features you added, extra lighting, which is nice. Exactly. In the entryways, in the work areas, it's really important to have a well-lit garage. And it's probably one of the most poorly lit rooms in the house. Next to the entrance to the house, hang a fire extinguisher, first aid kit, and carbon monoxide detector. So, Finally, create an organized space for kids' toys that's far away from toys. any dangers. Do you think this is a much safer room now that it's been redone? Absolutely. Everything's off the floor, which really makes it safe for Alexa when she comes in because everything's higher than her level, so she won't be able to grab things like before. Most injuries in the garage come from falls, slips, and stepping on objects. It's a good idea to clean up the garage, not just for your family, but your pets as well. They can get into a lot of things left on the floor. Harry. Especially poisons and garden exactly. products, stuff like that. Now, these people, that garage was unbelievable. You looked like you could eat <laughs> off of the floor of that garage. They that just, was not a mess. They just moved in three months ago, oh, okay. so it, it's a very nice garage, but they did have a lot of uh, hazards there.